my little Halloween get together tomorrow so I can't wait for you all to see that and I'm gonna find me a gym and sign up for said gym because I'll be going to the gym every day I'll probably give myself one or two rest days but I will be going to the gym every day and then starting November first I'm gonna do Lydia Dinga's step challenge but I'm only gonna do I'm gonna be realistic with myself I'm gonna do 10,000 steps in the morning and then I'm gonna try to do like a 30 minute jog so I think that should get me to at least 15,000 to 20,000 steps by the end of each day so that is my goal fitness goal I'm also going to try my best to start eating better I'm still gonna eat I'm still gonna eat whatever I want but for the majority of my meals I'm gonna make it as healthy as I can and then final thing I really want to kickstart my juice business I have the bottles for over like I have the bottles for a year now I have a hundred bottles and I want to sell a hundred juices so in the next vlog be on the lookout for that um, I'll try to get that started by this weekend coming so I can sell it by time the um, other video comes out so let me organize this the next vlog that's coming will be information on the juices that I'll be selling so I'm gonna test out some juices this week and then when that video comes out you can put your orders in and then that week that following week I'll sell the juices to you guys so I think I'm gonna sell them for $500 just because it's including my delivery so I think the juice will probably be $200 and I'll just charge us $300 delivery fee and then if I look at it this way it'll also be you know a chance for you guys to meet me so and support me um, just $500 um, yeah let me know if that sounds good so $200 for the juice five three hundred dollars for delivery and like a meetup type thing I'll follow all precautions just to make sure there's no you know cross contamination wear my mask sanitize after everybody and yeah so it'll be a lot of fun and I can't wait to meet you guys May I drive off of the road I'm gonna get tired so I'll see you guys when I get into Kingston good day cuz I forgot where I last left off um but I'm here at my second viewing um, turn off this car guys I'm breaking out I think I said that already but I think I don't know look at that I think it might be because of because of heat do you see it it's on both sides of my face and my forehead so I sent the picture to my sister and I sent the picture to my mom and she said that I should, my sister said I should get Benadryl, which is exactly what I think my mom will say as well. Ooh, that's exactly what I think my mom is gonna say. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna get some Benadryl and she said by tomorrow morning when I wake up, it should be gone. Cause I think it's just dust and change in temperature. Um, yeah, got your mask. Make sure you always have your mask. And for Jamaica, uh, and all, all over now, mask, but especially for Jamaica, your own hand sanitizer. Anyways, let me go out and friendly up the security, make some connections, meet some people, hear the stories, and I'll see you guys later. <laughs> Peace. Alright, guys, so real quick, I'm at Starbucks. <laughs> Solely because I wanted to charge my phone and be able to use the internet. That's what. Alright, so I'm casually waiting on my cousin. Um, I didn't get no Benadryl, so I'm gonna have to check if I'm at home, if I have any Benadryl at home. Oh my god! You can see it better now. Look at this. Oh my god. Maybe I should have bought it. But their brand is like 1,800 and I feel like I have some at the house. This is ridiculous. Oh my god, are you sure that? 
it's all over and it's even on my um my forehead i don't know if you guys ever experienced this before let me know i think the ben and joe would be very very helpful so i just need to get it so shauna's talking about oh i can use dph but i'm like i don't think it's gonna do the same thing um i don't think um unless you're like pantana or one of those other pharmacies you won't really have benadryl they normally have like cetamol and panadol and dph <laughs> so i don't know you know we'll see no one that charge 700 no one yeah and i can't free soup no one that charge 700 dollars so shana you look pop down you ever want to catch me pop down anyway. hi danini poo must see earlier today yeah. Yeah. Hey, okay. Not the but grandma Ours. Not old, but ours. lifestyle travel and real estate videos in Jamaica and right now I'm back in Jamaica so if you haven't watched my New York <laughs> if you haven't watched my New York vlogs then make sure you go and check those out the only reason why I'm sweating this much is because me Malik and Maria have been preparing our Halloween costume little party so yeah you know all this time that I was in New, New all the time that I was in New York I didn't buy any costume because one they were just overpriced especially the ones on pro things on Fashion Nova they were way overpriced then I went into where did I go into then I went into Forever 21 and they had some costumes but it was just so mm, it didn't it was for lack of better words it was very cheap looking so I was like mm-mm nothing like the the vision was there but the materials I didn't like the materials um so now I am trying to go find a costume like literally the hour my party is supposed to start so yeah that's that's what's up my cousin um and her friends should be on their way by now Okay, so I'll see you guys at the party. I just wanted to like um, touch base with you on my fit, on my vest situation, my skirt, my stocking. Like, girl, looking good. Yeah. 
Ja, das ist